Good afternoon, once again. Hi, welcome to my daily chat. Um, for those keeping score, it's episode nine, 949, so only 40, 50, 51 to go to 1,000. I'm not going to do count for all of them, but I just wanted to say that just to get in my head. Um, today I'm talking about resolutions again, because it's been a topic for the last uh, week, almost. And if you're still pondering those resolutions and not sure what to do with them, I have some suggestions for you. Which is why I put in the title, because frankly, for some people they're going and going, they're sort of going around going, I need to come up with resolutions, I need to write them down, I need to do something. All the all the needs and stresses of resolutions show up in people's lives, especially after the first of Jan first of January. If you've been watching my Facebook Live for the last few days, at least, at least since the first of the most first of the year, which was um today, the days of the sixth. So six days ago. <laughs> If you're watching those, you would have known I talked about I talked actually four things, and I'll give you a recap of those just so you're welcome. And you're welcome about what will help you replace resolutions with something better and more effective and easier to do and more fun. There you go. There's four things, <laughs> um, and also something just to talk about resolutions in in particular because even yesterday I was talking to somebody about resolutions and they were feeling a bit stressed out by them, worried about them, and I thought you know. I've been talking about this, so let me keep talking about it because apparently people aren't getting it yet. So resolutions, just to be clear, are a thing people do and then forget about. Basically speaking, I posted a meme yesterday um, that says like 92% of people, 92, 92% of New Year's resolutions are broken within two weeks. That means there's less than 10% chance of you getting them to actually succeed and happen. And which means that most people, it ain't gonna happen. Resolutions are almost something people do out of lip service. They just write them down, but then they forget about them before the end of the month. You know, it's the the meme I also posted, which is an old joke about how you know you you build it, you start it, you open a new gym on January first, and by January fifteenth, it's turned into a bar because nobody's actually working out anymore. And that's the thing with resolutions; they don't tend to stick. And I have some suggestions why they might not stick. There we go. I knew there was a new piece coming in. Because <laughs> I will get, I'll, I'll recap the four things I taught in previous broadcasts. And I'll give you, I'll remind you to go watch those as well. At the end, I'll tell you when we find the replays. But one of the reasons why resolutions don't work is because they're not fun. Most people's resolutions are habit breaking things. They're challenging things. They're annoying. They're frustrating. They're things you know you should do, but you don't want to do them. Doesn't that sound like fun? No, it doesn't. So things like quitting smoking or going to the gym five times a week when you weren't doing it for the last three years. Usually those things are, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like pushing water uphill. <laughs> they're not fun, they're not enjoyable, they're not something you want to do, but you know you have to do them. They have to, shoulds, must type energy, which is not positive at all. Which is why resolutions suck. Yes, they suck. <laughs> In fact, I said I talked about this, and I was actually talking over the last two weeks. I was thinking about what resolutions really are, and what I came up with, and it seems to land. See what people like what I said is that resolutions are ego-driven, because they're up in here. The programming, like beliefs, rules, stuff like that, you can say, you know what, I need to change. So I'm making resolutions to change. Great, and then you don't change. Whereas intentions, which is one thing, one of the four things I'm going to teach and mention today, or should say remind you today, because I already talked about them last week. Intentions are spirit-infused. You know, resolutions are sort of put your shoulder to the grindstone, get it done, make it happen. I'm going to prove myself as worthy and strong and powerful because I'm doing it myself. Doesn't that sound like fun? No, it doesn't. Resolutions suck, as I said. Intentions, however, when you set an intention for something, first of all, you don't usually set an intention to stop doing something. In fact, you don't usually set an intention to break habits. What you do with intentions is set a new paradigm in, in motion, so to speak. You set an intention to have a new result, a new way of being, a new way of experiencing life, which is awesome because when you do that, things can happen more easily. Because the thing, the thing about excuse me, think about intentions is are are <laughs> get, my, get my pronouns right, my statements right. Resolution intentions I keep switching them out. Intentions are things you declare that uh, invite assistance from the universe around you. As I said. They are spirit infused, which means that I believe that intentions are buoyed up or supported or inspired by a, a deeper, higher presence than just yourself. You can still have resolutions if you want to, but of course it's a lot of effort to effort that through with your, you know, your sweat, your blood, sweat and tears and your brain power trying to make it happen, which is, let's not do that. 
I've got some other suggestions that made you a little bit easier. So one of those four things is intentions. So intentions, again, spirit infused, good idea, enroll spirit in your plans. So one of those things is intentions. Secondly, and these are things I've talked to you in much more detail in for January 1st through 4th broadcast, just so you know where they are in my broadcast library, and they're, they're, they're a beginning part of my new program that I'm going to talk about at the back end of the broadcast. You know it's coming. Just stay tuned for that. So first of all is intentions. Second part, and the second piece that people forget about, is to create, actually, I'm going to tie this together. So second, actually, you know, I'm, I'm going to combine the, yeah. <laughs> no script. <laughs> I'm flying without a script. But basically, this whole piece is to have a multi-dimensional, three-dimensional, visceral experience of what it is you want to create. So it's going to be visual, kinesthetic, auditory. And that's vision boards, in, uh, physical um, embodiment, excuse me, and affirmations. Because the affirmations you hear, auditory. Vision boards you look at, visual. And embodiment is an experiential thing that is a kinesthetic experience. So you're going to get all the sensory apparatus involved. This is why it's so effective. Resolutions are just written down and they're just like something you look at and you stare at and you go, I don't want to do them. I mean, how many resolutions have you written down that you said, I don't want to do them? More than half, I would suggest. You may have an idea that it would be good to do those to get the results, but when it comes down to it, you don't want to do them. But when you have an experience where you can immerse yourself in the idea of having intentions, vision boards, uh, embodiment, and affirmations, you're fully immersing yourself in the idea of what you want to create so that it becomes easy to have it. And if you have it, if you make it easy for yourself, you're more likely, more likely to do it. Kind of makes sense? So, and again, these are the broadcasts, I, these are the things I taught, um, not yesterday, the day before. So it was, this is 949, just give me the numbers in my head. So broadcast number 947, 46, 45, 44, in reverse order. <laughs> so starting on the years of 944, and I'll give you the link for you to watch the replay so you can check them out. I went into detail about intentions, about vision boards, about embodiment, and about affirmations. Those four things, if you just do those alone, nothing else, just do those four things, your likelihood of success will increase dramatically because it works that way. Because again, you're involving spirit in your desire. You're creating a sense of immersion. Yeah, that sounds work. Immersion is the experience visually, physically, and kinest visually, physically, kinesthetically, and auditorily. That's a good set to have. So if those things are embraced, you'll find yourself having a much more effective result and actually getting success in what you want to create. Resolutions don't tend to create success. These four things do. Just take it from me. I've learned the lesson more times than I can count. I had not to do it right. <laughs> That'll be for another time. So using those four components to really understand what it is that creates the foundation for your intentions to happen starts to shift your paradigm, shift your worldview, shift your reality so you can actually have what you want. And if you've been stumbling through that, I've been passionate about this for a while. And as I was going to say, I'm adamant. I've been passionate about this for a while now. And in fact, I have... Um, We'll do it now. No, I'll save that for a bit later. I have, I, have, I have a new program I'm launching. I've been talking about it for about two weeks now. So that's I'll tell you the link and the link in the comments and everything else at the back end. But I want to get there's something else I want to talk about, which isn't coming, which is coming through. Bear with me for a second. One of the things that we don't um, give ourselves freedom to do is to celebrate our wins. This is the fifth piece, by the way. So it's number five, bonus, I didn't have this before. One of the things that happens is when we do resolutions, oftentimes we do a resolution and it's something we have to keep disciplining and focusing on and making it happen. And it's not a lot of fun and there's no end in sight. When you set intentions in motion which are, which are result oriented and you're gonna create that experience, when you get there, the, joy, the jubilation and the celebration and the feeling you have of winning is almost automatic. So again, I'm very biased about this because frankly, this is a lot less effort, a lot more fun, and more celebratory at the back end. That's a triple win right there. So if you've been thinking about setting your resolutions and you're pretty like going, don't want to redo them, this is why resolutions aren't fun. And resolutions are more than likely to be ineffective. Again, 92% of resolutions don't last more than two weeks. That's the statistic I read, and it sounds about right. I know for myself, I've had many resolutions that didn't go anywhere beyond the end, even beyond the end of January. So if you've been finding yourself challenged with this new year about what you want to set up as your resolutions, your goals, your visions, your intentions, I invite you to consider setting intention in place, having a vision board to go with it, having affirmations that remind you of it, 
and having embodiment practices that tell you, help you tie it, um, try it on so you know what it feels like to be there. And then automatically, as you get to that point, you'll experience a celebration as a, as a, as a side as a byproduct. That pretty, that's pretty awesome. So how do you get there? Well, again, I invite you to watch my previous broadcast. I went in much more detail about all four components for, with, with episodes 9, 44, 5, and 6. And no, 4, 5, 6, 7. Is that right? Yes, 4, 5, 6, 7. Because 948 was a different talk yesterday, and then this is 949, just remembering the numbers. Um, if you want to really go deep in this and have some amazing support in having this happen, I made something just for you. <laughs> I've been talking about this for a while now, my BFF course, well, I should say BFF Masterclass. It's a group course that starts soon. I'm, I'm gathering, the, gathering the, the, um, the tribe. That's a good word. I'm bringing up the tribe to do this together because I want to have a lot of people that want to do this together so they can really support each other and be supported. So if you don't want to be supported and you don't want to support other people, don't bother signing up. <laughs> and then, and there's probably like one person in 300. But for most of you who want to have this, and most of you who want to watch this will have this desire, is to want to be supported and having their goals succeed. That's why I created BFF. And BFF, by the way, even though it sounds like best friend forever, which is, that's the side effect, is actually balanced freedom and flow. And by creating this in a way that is positive, directional, inclusive, you start to have results that you never even dreamed of. But you've got to be willing to you got to be willing to dare to dream though to have them because they don't happen as an as an accident you focus you create results by being in the flow and having spirit supporting you my bff masterclass starts again as the tribe gathers i'm still building the tribes it takes a little time because it's going to be spectacular when it does happen it is it is a three-month journey it has a lot of gathering support it has a lot of online resources it also has a lot of things i'm going to give you because i've got well, I'm saying three decades worth is more than that, but I've been on this journey for a long time and I figure it's about time I started giving back what I've been learning for all these years. So a lot of my teaching is going to come through this opportunity, which is why I'm so excited about it, but also why I'm so passionate about it as well. So the link can be in the comments, which, and if you want it verbally, just so you can jump ahead before I put it in the comments, if you go to my website, barryselby.com forward slash BFF, Balance, Freedom and Flow, you can read all about it and sign up right there. I'm passionate because it's it's a big year. I mean, it's a 2020. I was talking about 2020, big year and everything else. It is a new decade, not a new. It is not the new decade because new de new decade starts on 2021. Just to be safe, just to be clear, because decades go from one to ten, not from zero to nine. Another conversation. So with that, um, I knew I'd check that out because you want to start the new decade correctly, right, effectively, successfully, joyfully, happily, easily. The best place to be is in my BFF online course. So that starts shortly. I'm going to tell you more about it as the days go by. And again, if you didn't get the detailed talks about the four components I mentioned, please go back and watch, and I'll see where the replays are, um, watch episodes 944, 5, 945, 946, and 947. <laughs> Those talk about the four components I mentioned. So that's for you to just review so you can actually get started right away. The link I mentioned, I'll put the link in the comments and check it out. Um, and oh yeah, where you can find the replays. So this is my daily Facebook Live, in case you hadn't already guessed that. I was sitting in episode number 949 in the title, because I've done a bunch of these. And I do this live every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time here on my personal page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby, in case you hadn't found it before. The replays go to my business page on Facebook, as well as onto my YouTube channel. And I do put up my YouTube, on my personal page, excuse me a bit, let me try that again. I put my, you see it's not scripted <laughs> or edited. Um, I put these on my business page on Facebook because that's a good place to put them. Um, but unfortunately, because YouTube is actually more resource based and Facebook is not so good at this, I put them on YouTube as well. So YouTube, Facebook chat, Facebook business page, which is Barry Selby or you can go there and watch the replays. Most of them are there, not all of them, because it doesn't show them all for some reason. But if you go to my YouTube channel, and I'm a big champion of that because all of my broadcasts stay there safely and securely and backed up, go to YouTube, youtube.com slash user slash Barry Selby. Subscribe to my channel. There's a playlist on there called Messages for the Masculine where all of these talks live from newest to oldest. You can scan through them, find the ones you want. And in particular, again, number 944, 945, 946, and 947. Those four broadcasts break down the four major elements to manifest an amazing new year. Replacing resolutions with something much more effective, more immersive, and more enjoyable with results that work. Sound good? <laughs> so check out the broadcast I'll put something in the comments reminding you of the, the uh, episode numbers um, I'm just thinking we'll put the yeah alright I know what we can do with that 
So with that, I think that's about it. If you have any questions about this topic, please put them below. And if you want to get support, reach out to me on social media or in better yet, check out the link in the comments that I'll put in there when I sign up, which again is barryselby.com forward slash BFF. And uh, I think that's about it. Back in tomorrow with something different new. I'm not sure yet. These topics are never planned ahead. But I do invite you to stay tuned. Watch me. Join me tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific time. And uh, as always, please take care of yourself. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.